students in this video we explained sop 567 of chapter 1 advanced web design sop 5 it has got two parts a and b in a create a web page named audio.html to set an audio file in web page with controls such that it uses html5 elements the audio file must play as soon as the web page loads in browser and it will start over again every time when it is completed so here for the exam you have to write it in your answer sheet first and show it to the examiner then you will open a notepad and write this coding so here html5 program here doc type html html head title you will provide all these title close head close body then you will provide an h1 so that h1 i put a line equal to center so that in the web page it is shown that audio with controls here we can use audio tag and we can use src attribute or you can use audio tag along with source tag so here audio and three attributes are used what are the three attributes they said audio file in web page with controls so what is this purpose of this control attribute control attribute means the audio control should be displayed so this will be displayed here this will be displayed these controls should be displayed if controls are not provided then in my output audio with controls will come on in the web page and your music will play in the background but you cannot see this okay for this control should be present after that the audio file must play as soon as the web page loads in browser for that we will use attribute called autoplay what is the purpose of autoplay the audio will start playing as soon as it is ready next it should it should start over again every time when it is completed so for this we use the attribute called loop what is the purpose of this att attribute the audio will start over again every time it is finished so three attributes along with audio tag then we have the source tag and here src what is the path of this file so i have got this mp3 file the path of this mp3 file and then type what type is it that is audio slash mp3 this you will provide this is what you will write and you will close the audio tag it's a container tag so you can see the output audio with controls along with the controls and the music will play in the background now this is the second part of SOP 5 that is B part create another web page named audio 1.html which provides multiple source file formats for the same audio file that plays a sound automatically with controls. The browser should display the message with appropriate attribute when audio file is not supported by browser. The code must incorporate the list of sound file formats like WAV, MP3, or OGG, etc. So in this, we are using multiple source of an audio file so that if the browser is unable to play the first source, then it will automatically jump to the second source. So coding for this program, we have used the HTML5 program in which we mention html head title giver title close title head and in body we have an h1 and here in h1 i've given multiple audio files with control that is this program about and i've given an h3 because they said the code must have the list of file formats audio file formats you're using so i've given here h3 with a list of audio file formats the audio file formats which I'm using is MP3, OGG, WAVE, AAC in ordered list I've given. So list, first one, second one, third one, fourth. And I close the ordered list. Then we have this audio tag. We have used the controls and autoplay. You know control is two. It should be displayed. The control should be displayed. For that, we have to use the attribute called controls and autoplay. When do we use it? The audio will start playing as soon as it is ready. That is automatically without even clicking anywhere, we'll play the audio. Now we have used multiple source formats here. Why do we use that? Because if at all one is not, it will go to the second one like that. We have used source, source, which is the tag and SRC the attribute and I've given this is the name of the file with extension .mp3 it's the same file with a different extension we have given here see the type so here it's audio mp3 it's audio ogg audio wave and audio aac now they also told to give 
and information if it is not supported by any particular format. So here inside the audio container tag I've given, your browser does not support the audio file formats. So this is given so that when the audio file is not supported and information should be given to the user. So you can see the output here. So this is my H1 and the list of audio file formats that's mentioned here. It's an ordered list. It will come as number one, two, three. That's a default one. You can see this. This is the control. You can see the audio which is there in the background the first one it's not supported it will go to the second one or next it will go to the third one like that it goes we have controls controls is display or to play it's automatically playing when the web page is loaded and in case if any of this is not supported then this message will come on the screen that your browser does not support the audio file formats Next is SOP6. It has got two parts A and B. In A part, create a web page named video.html to display a video file on web page and plays automatically with controls. The dimension of video area should be 150 by 150 pixels. See the program. It's an HTML5 program where title is mentioned, close title, head, body pg color given cyan and text is red it is not mentioned in the question it is up to you h1 do give an h1 you'll get an idea what is there in this program so here play video file automatically with controls to embed the video what we have to do is we have to use a tag called video we can use src attribute or you can use source tag so here i have used a source tag along with the source tag src attribute is used video Controls have used because if mentioned it should play automatically with controls control should be this control should be visible with given as 150 by height 150 it's here it's mentioned so first one is the width and second one is the height it's mentioned here and here it should play automatically so you have used O to play the attribute so that it specifies that the video will start playing as soon as it is ready now here source tag src the path of this file i've mentioned here this is a path of the file what is the type of the file the type you have to mention here video slash mp4 and you close the video tag you can see the output it looks like this we can you can make it full screen you can stop it you can do with this controls sop6 the second part b part Create another web page which provide multiple source file format for the same video that plays a video automatically with controls. The dimension of video area should be 100 by 100 pixels. The browser should display the message with appropriate attribute when video file is not supported by browser. The code must incorporate the list of video file format like WebM, MP4, OGG, etc. We'll see the program now. Here html5 program html head title mention a title close title head body pg color and text up to you whether you want to give then you have to see these things you have to embed a video with multiple source file formats so you will give an h1 there and then video tag is used and source tag is used definitely because you should have multiple source file formats it's not only one format so now we will use control. Why do we use control? Because it is said in the question, it should play with control. So control should be there and it should play automatically. So you will use autoplay. So these are the two attributes, controls, autoplay. Then it should have the width of 100 and height 100. That is 100 by 100 pixels as mentioned. So width is 100, height is 100. After that, you will mention the source, the source, the, four, the three types you have mentioned here, the path of the file, .mp4, .ogg, webm, and you have to mention the type along with that, and you'll close the video. Then they said a message should be provided that in case it's not supported because we are using multiple file formats. If the first one is not supported, we'll go to the second one. So here you can use the message here. If none of these are supported, your browser does not support the HTML video tag. That you can mention it here. Then they said you have to have the list of the files. To have the list of the files, I've used an H3 here. If you want, you can use an H3 so it will be displayed. And 
order tag I've used and we've mentioned three lists here. The list, the first one MP4, second one OGG and the third one weapon. So you can see the output here. The list here, the list I mentioned here and the H1 mentioned here. And this is my, this is my video which is playing here. And the size is 100 by 100. It is autoplay and the controls is given here. Next is SOP7. Create a web page named imagemap.html with an inserted image having JPG, PNG or GIF extension. Create three different shapes like rectangle, circle and polygon which do not overlap. Note the coordinates make, making use of any of these. We are going to use MS Paint. Each shape should be mapped or navigated with a different URL that would navigate to a local web page. Students, when you get this SOP, what we have to do is first we have to write the coding in your answer sheet. When you write it in your answer sheet, wherever the coordinates you have to provide, then you leave a gap. When we use the computer, okay, at that time, opening the paint and then from there you have to copy the coordinates. So you will open MS Paint. After that, you will open, click on file, open and whichever picture you intend to keep it in your web page, open the same picture. Then you have to draw three shapes. The so three shapes are rectangle, polygon, here I'm using a triangle for that and a circle. And after that, if it is a rectangle, you have to take out the coordinates. You have to keep the cursor on the top left corner of this. And then here, this is the status bar. You can see the, the coordinates there the X and Y coordinates noted down in a paper and then you keep it on the right hand side bottom right again the coordinates will change noted down in the case of triangle top right and then left okay in the clockwise direction you take out the coordinates in the case of circle what you have to do is keep it in the center and then you will get the coordinates this is a coordinate 584 here this coordinates we'll write it down x and y value and then you give a radius of 50 and 60. So this is what you have to do and after that do not save this. Okay. So you have noted down the coordinates in your paper. Then you have to write these coding. The first coding they said it should be image map dot html. So this is a coding for image map dot html that is html head title mentioned in body and I'm going to take the picture. On the web page, I should have a picture, the same picture which you have used for MS Paint, the same thing you're going to use here, IMG SRC equal to, and the path of the image, a JPG file I've used, use map. This is for client side image mapping. You'll use this attribute called use map equal to, and the name, the name given is hash. Just once you will use this hash along with use map equal, this is a value, this is the attribute equal to hash. Test is the name given. The in double quotes you mentioned that next I have to use a tag called map map it's a container tag map name what is the name given in use map so this is test the same name name equal to text use this and after that next area so we have three shapes here so the first one's area shape is equal to rectangle for rectangle you'll write right -E RECT coordinates whichever coordinates you have noted down in a paper that one that is top and left corner that is 45 comma 101 comma you will mention bottom right corner x and y 251 comma 255 mention it here it should go to a local page that is if i click on this rectangle shape i should go to home page dot html that is href you have mentioned here so shape is the attribute which give you the shape called rectangle coordinates is the coordinates for the rectangle, the area which we have selected, HRF hypertext reference that are clicking on this rectangle, I'm going to homepage.html. And the second area, in second area, the shape is red circle mentioned here. The coordinates are 584, 344. This is the X and Y value, which is the center value. After that comma, you provide the radius. You can give a radius 50 or 60. You can actually measure it and you can do it. Or you can, can give a random value of 50 here. And HRF equal to courses.html mentioned here. So that is clicking on this coordinates. It should go to courses.html. And this is the shape here. And area shape equal to polygon this for the triangle i'm using polygon here poly i mentioned coordinates are this is top this is x and y 
right x and y, left x and y. HREF, after clicking on this triangle, it should go to feedback.html. This I've mentioned here. And close the map body HTML so that if I click on rectangle, I should go to homepage.html. That is homepage.html should be opened. If I click on circle, courses page should be opened. If I click on the triangle, then feedback.html page should be open. So all these are local pages. So for that, you have to write about these pages also. So homepage.html, you don't have to write anything too much about this. Just two, three lines or just a paragraph is enough or an H1 enough. And you can give a different background color for that. So homepage.html. And I've given here a body, PG color I've given and give written an H1 here. Here in courses, I've give again given a different BG color in body and I've given an H1. And I've used an ordered list also just to show the courses. According to the name given, you can write according to that uh, name of the HTML, you can write appropriately. Here in feedback, I have given H1 given and I've used a form also text area. It's all up to you. Just give an H1 and a BG color and a paragraph also, it is fine. So it depends on what is the name of this HTML which you're opening. So three local pages I've created and I've created this image map.html. This is the image map.html. I'll show you the output of this program. This is the same image which I've used in the paint as well as in the program. In the paint, I have drawn three shapes. That is one rectangle over here. At the peak, I've drawn a circle over here. In the clouds here, I've drawn a triangle. That is clicking on the rectangle, the page home page should be open. Clicking on the circle area, courses page should be open. Clicking on the triangle area, feedback page should be open. So here, when I move the mouse, since there is a hyperlink there, the mouse will, it will change into a hand shape. And you can see in the status bar, it is showing that there is a link and it is leading to homepage.html. And I've written coding for the homepage.html. So if I click on here, it will open up into the homepage.html. And it is a full page it has shown. I've taken a screenshot and I've cropped it and it is shown here. Then using the back button, I'll come back here. I want to show the other HTML files also. Then I'll move the mouse and the cursor over here. Then you can see in the status bar, it is showing that it will lead to courses.html. I click over here and now it will show courses.html page. Again, this is a screenshot. Use the back button and come back. Now I want to see the third shape. I'll keep moving and my mouse will change, the cursor will change into a hand shape. And then you can see here, it is leading me into feedback.html. I click on that, I'll get feedback.html. So clicking on these shapes, it will lead me into different local web pages.